Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Nicole Pennington, Executive Dean for Ohio University's Regional Campuses and Dean of the Southern Campus. This afternoon is a very special one as we get the opportunity to recognize the accomplishments of both our associate and bachelor degree of nursing graduates as they complete their educational journey here at Ohio University Southern. I am so honored to stand before you to celebrate your success. Your journey during this academic program was certainly of the highest quality of an Ohio University degree program, but definitely under different circumstances as we navigated our way through and almost out of a global pandemic. Your journey included lessons that you'll remember forever, and you'll think back to the bizarre time when we had to do things so differently. Like remember how we had to sit through long lectures in class with a mask on, and all the PPE we had to wear in labs and clinical. As nursing students, you embraced the challenges and kept pushing forward to complete your nursing degree. And for that and much more, you are to be commended. The nursing pinning ceremony is a very special one that recognizes our nursing students for completing their studies to become a registered nurse. It is a time-honored nursing school tradition and often more personally meaningful than the graduation ceremony. Since the inception of the nursing programs here at Ohio University Southern, hundreds of nurses have graduated and are currently serving patients throughout our community and beyond. Many have advanced their degrees becoming nurse practitioners and some are even teaching nursing students as faculty. You all have been educated by highly skilled and credentialed nursing faculty who go above and beyond to ensure that our nursing graduates are well prepared to take care of patients. And because of them, we have the very best nursing program around. Our faculty members care deeply about preparing the very best nurses and they are to also to be commended every step of the way. Thank you to all of our campus faculty who teach the support classes for our nursing program. Without them, we wouldn't be able to have a program. And thank you too to our campus staff who provide the critical support in everything that we do. I know that many of you feel that you would have never made it without the amazing duo of Chelsea and Anna along the way to guide you of what to take next and what to do when and what to turn in when. From our facilities staff to the library manager to our student services staff, we are grateful to everyone who supports our students. To the friends and family members who have supported our nursing students on this journey, we thank you. We know that your love and support played a big part in getting us to this afternoon. On behalf of the entire Southern Campus, I want to congratulate all of our new nurses. Make us proud and use the knowledge and skills that you have obtained here at Ohio University Southern to make a difference in the lives of your patients. And don't ever forget how awesome you are. Congratulations and thank you. You guys look so great over there. Good afternoon. My name is Mashana Hamilton. I'm the Associate Director of Nursing and an Associate Professor of Nursing here at Ohio University Southern. I'd like to welcome you here to celebrate the accomplishments of this fine group of students. To the family members who've wiped away tears and taken on more than your fair share of family responsibilities so that your loved ones could study and prepare for their their clinical experiences, and their final exams, thank you. Thank you for your love and support that allowed these graduates to pursue their dreams. You share in their accomplishments. To our graduating nurses, you've taken the first steps in creating a life focused on the needs of others. The American missionary Von Featherstone once said, fill your mind with truth, fill your heart with love, Fill your life with service. These are the cornerstones of a professional nursing career. During this first stage of your nursing education, you've begun to fill your minds with truth that will guide your clinical practice. 
You came to us with hearts full of love, but through your experiences, you've learned the importance of empathy and a caring touch. Each of you are on the precipice of fulfilling your life up to a lifetime full of service. Keep focused on these essential elements and you'll have a rewarding and fulfilling nursing career. As you leave here today, know that we as your faculty are proud of each of you. It's been an honor to share our passion with you and we look forward to seeing all the wonderful things that your futures hold. Congratulations and don't forget to come back and see us. Good afternoon. My name is Nicole Stumbo, and I am an Associate Professor of Instruction in Nursing here at OU Southern. I have the honor of giving out a couple of awards to our graduating nurses. Um, we're going to go by, we're going to start with the bachelor's program first. So the first of the two is the Outstanding Nurse Award. This award is given to the student with the highest overall GPA. This student has shown hard work and great leadership throughout the nursing program. She is very intelligent, and we are happy to give the Outstanding Nurse Award to Casey Carell. Good afternoon. I promised that I would make this speech short. Rather, my peers told me to keep it short. <laughs> and if there's anything that I've learned these past four years, it's that I should listen to them. I could stand up here and list off funny memories, advice we've been given, going to nursing school during the COVID-19 pandemic, and what have you. But what happens in nursing school stays in nursing school. I've been told I should be funny, yet serious, contemplative and inspirational, all within three minutes. No matter what I say, it will never be enough to capture the true essence of the BSN class of 2022. I wanted to mention some individuals who have contributed to my education. I want to thank God for his many blessings. I want to thank my dad, who claims my going to nursing school was his idea. My mom, who rallies behind me with unwavering support no matter my decisions. My sisters, who are both examples of women excelling in the workplace. All of my grandparents and all of my family and friends, plus my dog. I would like to thank the nurses who have paved the way before us, specifically Judy Carell and Thoral Dodderman, my late memo and late great-grandmother, respectfully. Our instructors, the faculty and staff of Ohio University Southern, and my fellow BSN graduates. If I left anyone off, I do apologize. The NCLEX is coming up and my brain kind of hurts. It definitely has not been your standard nursing school's experience. And so with that, I want to say that these past four years have been long enough. So good luck to you in all your careers. And ha it has been my pleasure learning alongside you. Thank you. The second award that is given is the Spirit of Nursing Award. This is given to a student that displays caring and compassion in the profession of nursing. The recipient of this year's award is peer nominated. I want to take a moment to go over a few things that the faculty and his fellow peers had to say about him. He is so nice and personable, and he can connect with anyone. He always takes time out to spend one-on-one -on -one with his patients and brighten the day of all of his classmates. He's an all-around good person, can make friends anywhere, and I don't think he gives himself enough credit for how great of a nurse he will be. It is our honor to give the Spirit of Nursing Award to Caleb Kaiser.
Okay. Hey, guys. Um, <laughs> if you know me, you know I love to talk. But I'm not one for public speaking. So I would like to thank everyone who nominated me for this award. Nursing school can be challenging, so I'd also like to, take, to thank my professors and clinical instructors for making these last four years bearable. I would also like to thank my parents for letting me practice my skills on them, even though the last thing they wanted to do was get an NG tube taped to their face. <laughs> but most importantly, praying for me with before every exam and encouraging me to do my best. There were a few times I didn't think this day would come, especially when I got to the third attempt on my Foley checkoff, tears were shed that day, but here we are. They say in nursing school, you make lifelong friends. I believe that wholeheartedly. I have made some of the best friends I could ask for. I would not have made it this far without you all. From staying up half the night studying to celebrating our last clinical together every semester, the countless messages and phone calls assuring each other that it will be okay. Thank you all for always being there for me, even though sometimes that can be a little much. <laughs> Through this experience, I've gained 14 lifelong best friends. I am so proud of you all, and I just know that you are going to be great nurses. I can't wait to see the impact we make on the world. I'm excited to get out there and start my nursing career, and even more excited to work with some of my closest friends. Congratulations, class of 2022. So we'll give the same awards for the associate degree. So the Outstanding Nurse Award for overall highest GPA for the ADN is awarded to Sarah Conley. Hi, everyone. <laughs> all right. First of all, I would like to take a minute to thank my extraordinary husband um, for always reminding me of my potential and continuing to keep our home running when I was not there to do that. <laughs> um, I'd also like to thank my daughter for reminding me every day just why I started this and the reason to continue on. Um, thank you both for sharing this journey with me. Um, I'd also like to thank my family and my friends for their continued support and encouragement. Without them, none of this would be possible. I'm extremely honored to be receiving this recognition today um, out of a class of 26 students who are equally as deserving and outstanding. Thank you all. Um, so with that, let's give my class a special thanks and these 25 strangers that are now very lifelong friends. Ooh. Oh, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys for the laughs, the tears, the pep talks, the late night study sessions, but most importantly, your friendship. May that red Camaro's tires keep spinning. <laughs> Congratulations, you all are incredible. Uh, nursing school's hard. It's full of uncertainties, Pandemics are also hard and full of uncertainties, but we've managed to navigate and survive those together. Uh, from day one, we learned the words adaptable and flexible and how to truly embody those characteristics, sometimes even when we didn't want to. Um, we know that the career paths that we've chosen, these core skills are essential. And luckily for us, dare I say, we may have mastered them. Um, I have no doubt that every graduate sitting here today will go on to be the most incredible nurses, uh, despite the difficulties that they're sure to encounter along the way. May we never forget the reason that we pursued nursing in the first place. Congratulations, classmates. We survived. The last award I have to hand out today is the Spirit of Nursing Award for the Associate Degree Program. She was also peer nominated, and here are what her peers had to say about her. Always quick to help others, volunteers for all activities. She is also notorious for never stopping at clinicals, and her patients always appreciate her. She goes above and beyond, always there to help whenever she can. Such a compassionate, 
compassion when it comes to taking care of her patients. Any patient will be lucky to have her as her nurse. She's caring, sweet, and just a fun, loving person to be around. It is our honor to give the Spirit of Nursing Award to Michelle Ryder. cried before I even walked up on the stage. <laughs> okay, first I want to thank all my classmates for choosing me for this award. My dream has always been to become a nurse. Caring for people in some of their darkest, scariest hours is not only a privilege, but something I'm extremely passionate about. I am honored that you can see that passion in my work and dedication to nursing. I want to give a special thank you to my husband for always being my number one fan, to my kids who inspire me, to be my best every single day and to my family and friends for supporting me through this journey. I would not be here today without you all. I love you all. Throughout these two years, I have met the most amazing group of people that I now have the pleasure to call my best friends. We have calmed each other down before tests, recited daily affirmations, <laughs> encourage one, each, one another. They have cried with me and sometimes even laughed until we cried. Every single one of you deserve to be standing up here to receive this award today. I would not be up here today if it wasn't for every single one of you. We always tell everybody there's no class like ours. We are different. Together, we have survived a global pandemic, an ice storm, online lectures, and even survived pharmacology, y'all. <laughs> No other cl nursing class is as close as us and relies on each other the way we do. But this is how we've made it through this. We did it together. Congratulations to the entire class of 2022. We beat the odds and we made it. We're going to be doing the pinning presentation now. Cassidy Bloom. Cassidy has accepted a full-time position at Southern Ohio Medical Center on the Surgical Vascular Care Unit. After gaining experience, she would love to begin travel nursing or furthering her education. Cassidy plans on spending her free time traveling and spending time with friends and family. Emily Bryant. Emily has accepted a full-time position at Southern Ohio Medical Center on the Surgical Vascular Care Unit, where she will gain experience to provide the best care possible for her patients. After graduation, she plans to use her much-deserved free time to crochet and read. <laughs> Casey Corral. Casey has accepted a full-time day shift position working for Adena Regional Medical Center as an RN on the observation unit. She will begin working at Adena in May and plans to continue studying hard so she can take her boards as soon as possible. After becoming licensed, she looks forward to catching up on her reading list. <laughs> Michael Doan. Michael has accepted a position at the VA in Beckley, West Virginia. He plans to take a short break to travel, visit family, and pre prepare himself for an exciting new chapter in his life. <laughs> Brian.
Brock Holly. Brock has accepted a position working full-time in the Southern Ohio Medical Center emergency room. After he gains experience in the ER, he hopes to eventually work as a flight nurse or become a nurse practitioner in emergency medicine. Ben Howard. Ben has accepted a full-time registered nurse position at the SOMC Emergency Department. Caleb Kaiser. Caleb has accepted a full-time position working at SOMC on the Surgical Vascular Care Unit. After graduation, he plans to spend his free time traveling with his friends and spending time with his family. <laughs> Emily Mitchell. Emily has accepted a position in the Emergency Department Fellowship at King's Daughters Medical Center. After gaining some experience, she hopes to one day go back to school to become a nurse anesthetist. Rachel Pratt. Rachel has accepted a position on the Surgical Vascular Care Unit at Southern Ohio Medical Center. She hopes to gain valuable experience as she plans on furthering her education in the future. After graduation, she looks forward to spending her free time with her friends and family. She's also excitedly preparing for her wedding in June and her honeymoon cruise to the Bahamas. Samantha Reed. Sammy has accepted a full-time position at Cabell Huntington Hospital in the Surgical Intensive Care Unit. After gaining experience as a critical care nurse, she hopes to dive into travel nursing and eventually further her education. She's excited to begin her career and see where it takes her. <laughs> Cheyenne Scott. Cheyenne has accepted a position on the pediatric unit at the Hoops Family, Family Children's Hospital at Cabell Huntington Hospital. She plans to spend her first few weeks of summer reviewing for the NCLEX. She's excited to experience her first summer as a new mom and celebrating her daughter's first birthday with her husband. Cheyenne would eventually like to explore women's maternity health after spending time in pediatrics. Jensen Shepard. In June, Jensen will begin a new nursing position at King's Daughters Medical Center. She also plans to further her nursing education this fall at Kentucky Christian University to obtain her master's degree to become a family nurse practitioner. <laughs> Jillian Spradlin. Jillian is applying to Southern Ohio Medical Center. She plans on enjoying time with family and friends, celebrating graduating before buckling down and studying hard for the NCLEX. She hopes to work in various types of nursing, such as pediatric, maternity, and NICU, and cardiac in her long-term career to come. She wants to thank her family for all their love, support, and prayers. Jenna Young. Jenna has accepted a full-time registered nurse day shift position at SOMC's emergency department. She plans to take her boards as soon as she can and then head to Florida right after for a much needed vacation.
Allison White. Allison has accepted a full-time position in the ICU at King's Daughters Medical Center. She's currently a nursing intern, but is looking forward to becoming more hands-on soon. Allison plans to gain critical care experience and test for her CCRN. She also plans on furthering her education, but is unsure as to which path she will take. As she is beginning this new chapter, she's looking forward to planning her wedding and beginning the rest of her life with her fiance, Tyler. British Atkins. British currently works at the VA Medical Center and will transition into her RN position after boards. She's enrolled to start the ADN to BSN program at OU this summer. She would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her throughout this academic accomplishment. <laughs> Katie Boyer. Katie wants to thank her family, friends, and instructors for their continuous support over the last several years. She's excited to begin her nursing career at SOMC on the Medical Surgical Care Unit. Sierra Brown. Sierra has accepted a position at Cabell Huntington Hospital on their pediatric unit. She would like to thank her friends and family for all the support she's received through schooling. She's excited for this new chapter of her life and hopes to further her degree with time. I love you, Sierra. <laughs> Ron Clark. Ron is going to focus on finishing his precepting in the next two weeks and then all priority is focusing on the NCLEX. After he achieves that, he wants to go into pediatric nursing and travel nursing. From there, he will decide if he wants to continue his education and become a nurse practitioner. <laughs> Tiffany Clark. <laughs> Tiffany has accepted a position in the in the ER fellowship at King's Daughters. She would like to thank her family, friends, and all the instructors for their continuous support and encouragement over the last two years. She plans to further her education by obtaining a Bachelor of Science in Nursing through Ohio University within the next year. <laughs> Jessica Collins. Jessica plans to study for her NCLEX and enjoy some time with her family before pursuing a position in critical care. She would like to thank her family for their continuous love and encouragement, as well as her friends for their constant support over the last two years. Sarah Conley. Sarah is excited to begin her nursing career and has accepted a position in the Cardiovascular Intensive Care Unit at St. Mary's Medical Center. She is already pursuing her Bachelor's of Science in Nursing through Ohio University, and in the future, she hopes to receive her nurse anesthetist Doctor of Nursing Practice. <laughs> Tiffany Carell. Tiffany has accepted a nursing position in the ICU at SOMC. She plans to further her education by obtaining a Bachelor of Science in Nursing through Ohio University. She would like to thank her family, friends, coworkers, instructors, and classmates for their love, support, and encouragement because the only thing as difficult as completing nursing school is putting up with someone who is in nursing school. <laughs> Tina Deerfield. Tina would like to thank her family and friends for pushing her every day to be the best she can be. She is glad to finally be slowing down for a minute to take a deep breath. She will continue her career as a nurse at SOMC and traveling while continuing to grow doing the job she absolutely loves to do. Amanda Frum. Amanda plans to kick off her career as a mental health nurse at TRMC. She plans to work there for two years before starting her long-term dream traveling the country as a travel nurse in the mental health department. <laughs> Emily Hall. 
Emily Garvin. Emily has accepted a med surge residency position at King's Daughters Medical Center. She plans to get her Bachelor's of Science in Nursing within the next few years while getting experience on the floor. Emily would like to thank her family and friends for all of their support and encouragement the last two years. Haley Haney. Haley has accepted a mental health registered nurse position at River Park Hospital in Huntington, West Virginia. She will begin her bachelor's of nursing courses in the fall while she plans to continue working toward her goal of becoming a mental health nurse practitioner, specializing in forensic nursing. She would like to thank her friends and family for always supporting and believing in her over the past two years. <clears throat> Kylie Hopper. Kylie has accepted a position in the ICU at King's Daughters Medical Center. She plans to start her Bachelor of Science in Nursing within the next year. Kylie would like to thank her family, friends, and instructors for their continuous support. <clears throat> Robbie Hunt. Robbie is currently weighing offers from several hospitals. However, he is excited to begin his career in nursing and eager to further develop his skills and continue in the pursuit of excellence. <laughs> Chad Lambiot. Chad has accepted a position at St. Mary's in the Open Heart ICU unit. He plans to further his education in nursing. <laughs> Danielle Mathis. Danielle is excited to begin her next chapter as a nurse at Good Samaritan Hospital in Cincinnati on the Neuroscience Unit. She also plans to continue her education. She is thankful to all her family and friends who have supported her through her journey. <clears throat> Carrie Mavis. Carrie has accepted a position at King's Daughters Medical Center in the new grad residency program. She would like to thank her friends, family, instructors, and supporters helping her through each semester over the past two years. She also plans to extend her education towards a Bachelor of Science in Nursing within the next year. <laughs> Kaylee McCann. Kaylee has accepted a position in the ICU at King's Daughters Medical Center. She plans to further her education by obtaining a Bachelor of Science in Nursing through Ohio University beginning this fall. Kaylee would like to thank her friends, family, fellow classmates, and staff in helping her where, to get where she is today. Kayla Moore. Kayla has accepted a position in the ICU at King's Daughters Medical Center that starts in July. She plans to start her Bachelor of Science in Nursing in August. She would also like to thank her family, friends, and all the staff for supporting her over the last two years. <clears throat> Kylie Phillips. 
Kylie has accepted a position at SOMC on the rehab care unit. She plans to start working on her bachelor's degree after she passes her NCLEX. She would like to thank her family for all the support. Peyton Phillips. Peyton has accepted a position in the new graduate RN residency program at King's Daughters Medical Center and will work towards her goal of moving to the mother baby unit. Peyton would like to thank her daughter, family, friends, classmates, and faculty for all of their continued support and encouragement. <laughs> Caitlin Ross. Caitlin has accepted a labor and delivery position at Charleston Area Medical Center. She will be continuing her education at Ohio University to obtain her Bachelor of Science in Nursing. While doing this, Caitlin wants to get her certification to be a SANE nurse. After finishing her bachelor's degree, she will go on to obtain her nurse practitioner in forensic nursing. Caitlin would like to thank her family and friends for their continuous support over the past two years. Michelle Ryder. Mich Michelle has accepted a position at Encompass Health and Rehabilitation Hospital where she currently works as a nurse extern. In the near future, she plans to continue her education and get her Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. Within the next few years, she hopes to be a travel nurse and travel the United States. <laughs> Sophia Smith. Sophia will begin the new graduate residency at King's Daughters Medical Center in July and plans to further her education by obtaining a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Sophia would like to thank her family and friends for the endless support and encouragement these past couple years. Michael Stumbo. Michael has accepted an emergency room residency position at King's Daughters Medical Center. He plans to further his edu education by obtaining a bachelor degree of science in nursing through Ohio University. <laughs> Allie Thomas. Allie will begin the RN residency program for women's health at CAMC Women's and Children's Hospital and is furthering her career with her bachelor's in women's health. She plans to one day get her nurse practitioner in aesthetics. Allie would like to thank her family and friends for all the support and encouragement over her nursing career. I would like to ask all of the graduates to please stand and then any nurses in the crowd, including all of our faculty here, we're going to recite the Nightingale Pledge. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to faithfully practice my profession of nursing. I will do all in my power to make and maintain the highest standards and practices of my profession. I will hold in confidence all matters committed to my keeping in the practice of my calling. I will assist physicians in their work and will devote myself to the welfare of my patients, my family, and my community. I will endeavor to fulfill my rights and privileges as a good citizen and take my share of responsibility in promoting the health and welfare of the community. I will constantly endeavor to increase my knowledge and skills in nursing and to use them wisely. I will zealously seek to nurse those who are ill wherever they may be and whenever they are in need. I will be active in assisting others 
in safeguarding and promoting the health and happiness of mankind. I now present to you the spring graduating class of 2022 associates and bachelor's degree programs here at Ohio University Southern. Congratulations, guys. <laughs>